Ahoy gamers! I just screwed up very hard making the Monday's Cave Story episode that hopefully I'm able to actually make. Anyways, um, I've been playing this game a fair bit, and... Uh, it's, it, it's not terrible, you know? It's the kind of game that I... It, it continues to be the kind of game that I describe as specifically that it's not terrible. It's not bad. I don't hate it, but it's like, uh, I don't know, it doesn't live up to the, the Yakko model, you know? I guess I could say, or I would be okay with saying, you know? <laughs> Which feels bad, sound, honestly, saying. I don't like saying it, because it, um, I don't know. It, it, it's the kind of game that I would like, you know? It's the kind of game, and I don't hate it, you know? It's not bad. But it's, 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 it's the little things sometimes, with just the way that it plays, that, um, I don't know, it's just not the greatest, and the, honestly, this, this little area is a fair example, those little, little flies right there that you literally can't, you can hit them. Look, I'm at one health. I've been here for a little, like, very short amount of time. Like, my HP was full right over here. And now I'm back at 2 because I'm an idiot. But, you know, that aside... It's just, um, kind of annoying, you know? It's, again, it's not bad. I don't think, and I don't, I don't want to say that it's difficulty because it's not overly hard it's just that at some points it gets to being kind of like garbage not bad per se in the sense of oh this is just like a terribly not fun game but like um i don't know maybe around episode five we'll get into uh i'm like right here actually well you know i didn't i didn't get knocked back and die instantly right before a checkpoint right there, but I sure did earlier. Let's just say that. Anyways. I'm hoping uh, very much so that I can just kind of deal with a lot of this stuff because it's the second run through. And that it'll be all fine and dandy and peachy and all that jazz. And that I'll be perfectly fine and everything going on, but I'm also getting swarmed right now, and this is my least favorite enemy. Not really, this isn't like a boss or anything. And it's also just like, you get to kind of a point with it where yeah, it gets a little annoying that, like right there, for one, sometimes knockback is inconsistent. For two, sometimes it's like, it seems like you should be able to reach something, and you can't. The, the attack is very narrow, and a lot of the enemies are small enough to be like just below your attack range, and you can't crouch or anything. I'm holding down right now. It's only a directional for the sake of specials. I wonder if you can, Oh, what the hell did I even get hit by? And also things like that, you know? Okay, I can't go in there. But it's, it's, it's the little things for me. Um, I don't know, I guess it's just kind of difficult. But it's not difficult in the way that I would consider to be, I guess, interesting or... Sometimes it's just not even fair, I would say. Again, I'm talking about, like, uh, we're going to get into something specific... I want to say episode 5 or 6, yeah. So some of the enemies are annoying. Like this guy. But, I mean, it's not a terrible issue, I would say. It's just, again, kind of like, why, you know? It could be done in a way that it isn't. And... It's not, like, Shovel Knight wasn't this way, so I know that it's not Yacht Club. 
it's not a yacht club thing. So I don't I don't really know how to feel about it. I've been taking the service pods. We should have some extra access. Here, use that crap you've been getting the your entire life. Alright. Nice. Thanks. Okay, now I can get stuff, you know? It's it's not a yacht like I don't I don't know how to feel about it or what to feel about it. Because it's not I don't know, it's just not something that I'm used to from specifically Yacht Club, I guess. Oh, I didn't know they would keep shooting, dude. I'm a gamer, and I enjoy my games, you know? And sometimes uh, it's just not something I enjoy, I suppose. I don't know. This is... Mm. It just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. I don't know if it's me, or the game, or what, or how to feel about it overall, but it just doesn't feel quite right. Like that! That doesn't feel right. Just stuff like that in general. It happens, I'd say, too much, but, you know, I guess just... For the rest of the world, don't stand next to cliffs when there are enemies nearby, you know, things like that. It just, it's, it, mm, just like, why have, I, I, I have a, a serious gripe with summoner enemies in general. This is my, the, my, I have the same kind of thing with, like, um, Binding of Isaac enemies. That's so dumb. Uh, it, uh, I, I don't want to be entirely negative this entire playthrough, but it's 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 gonna have its moments. Is all I'm gonna say right now. That's the rest of my SP. Too many enemies around me, man. Why am I even going for this guy? Honestly, I. There's another thing with just, I guess, how the game scales at all. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, I'm just going to spoil the game right now, right? You see these things right here? And this is the shuriken that you get, right? This is a move that you literally never use. This is just like a damage upgrade. This... God, what even is it? Oh, wait, no. This is like... It's something stupid. I want to say we do get the ability to climb. Yeah, you do. But it's it's just one of those things, you know? That the way that it scales is... It's wacky, and it could have been done differently, easily, to make it, I guess, just more enjoyable to run through. Like, the last thing you get, this right here, it's the ability to run. You, you get to run. You get to actually move through quicker and do interesting ninja type things, you know? It's pretty cool. But it's last upgrade? Like, you get a damage... Yeah, I'm sure you get a damage up after that because there are blocks that I can't break. But that's it? You know? It's it's like a... Yeah, God. It's its its, its own kind of world, you know? And I just, I don't, I don't appreciate it as much as I would, I don't know. It's, it's like, I guess I have a, a certain, a, I have certain ideals when it comes down to like, I want to fucking kill myself. I have certain ideals when it comes down to like swordsman ninja games, kind of like this one. I just got Mark of the Ninja unmasked, by the way. Or remastered, not unmasked. Why would they unmask a ninja? That's like against the entire point. Anyways, I got Mark of the Ninja Remastered. If I feel that so heavily about not wanting to ever play this game again, I might actually just play other ninja game, you know? And I understand 
I guess, the general difficulty of the idea of the Ninja Gaiden game, you know? I've never played a Ninja Gaiden, and I, I understand that they were, I've, I've, so I've heard, they were difficult, you know? And that's fine, but like this, this right here, it's, uh, you know? And that was for a health upgrade, which was too, very much so needed. I'm getting all the things. I don't hate getting all the things. I like collecting things, you know? This isn't bad. I don't dislike it. But it's like... It's not It's not the kind of game that benefits from having instant death traps on the floors. Every other... Like... <laughs> ah! Yeah... It's not the kind of game that benefits at all from that. And then you'll end up falling into a pit right before a checkpoint. It's the most unsatisfying thing in the world, and it doesn't feel worth its difficulty at all. And, again, the scaling just feels off. The way that it plays at times feels kind of off. The way that hitboxes work feel kind of off. It all just feels like it will end up being updated, but it's the final version. And it 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 hurts, honestly, to a degree. That I I just it I it feels wrong to some level and I don't know if it's me or not. And I want it to be me so bad, I really do. I want this to just be a great game that I don't know how to play. Like first person shooters or something, you know? I I am terrible at first person shooters. I want that to be like, I want this to be like that. This just be a game that I'm bad at. But instead, it's, it's not. It's not a game that I'm bad at. It's a game that, it, uh, it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's not what I was expecting, I guess. I don't know how to feel about it. And there are parts like this that are things that I would, I expect, you know? That I like. These, this is an enjoyable thing. Of course, jumping too high and ending up impaled isn't very enjoyable, but you know, that's perfectly fine by me because I just gotta not jump so high. I gotta, you know, time my jumps, things like that. I don't mind that. I don't hate that. And I don't hate this game, really. I'm not saying that I. But just some things about it, it feels as though. Like, the levels were made for a different game that I'm not actually playing right now, you know? It doesn't feel right for one reason or another, and I don't know how, how I should feel about it. Why are these things opening? It's just, some to some degree, it's wrong, somehow. And I, I don't know how that makes me sound. I don't know if it's a me thing. I want it, again, I want it to be a me thing. But it's, it's not. It, it, I, I really wish it was. It isn't. Why is that, why does that have a hurt box? A, a hit box. Why does that have a touch hit box? It's literally a probe on the wall. I'm very close to breaking something right now. Uh, this is this is going to be a, f a long episode, all right. In case you didn't already know because you weren't paying attention or something, because people watch my videos without paying attention. Uh, if if you're watching my videos, there's something wrong with you. What the fuck? Ah! Oh, I'm the real out, boys. And yeah, oh, collars off, my man. I'm I'm done, all right. I'm I'm done playing around with these freaking flies, all right. Okay, here's the thing. If they move at the same speed as you, then, um, that's bad. Alright? That's bad enemy, de enemy design. If you can't run away, there's nothing else you can do but get hit. Alright? And it isn't as if I can turn around and hit them because I'm too busy doing, like, literally anything else. Why do things on the wall have, um, hurt, touch hurt boxes? Why do the eggs have touch hurt boxes? Why do a lot of things in this game have touch hurt boxes, honestly? There are a lot of things in this game that I could be like, easily advised to be different, and I would I would say better. I would argue better. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a baby Kirby gamer player, 
You know? I play Kirby games. I enjoy Kirby games. This is right before a checkpoint, though. And I get screwed out of something stupid, you know? I'm ending the video. I'm ending the video right now. I swear to God, I'm going to start screaming. I'm going to actually break something. But it's it's just... It's... Oh, my God. There's a part... Okay, let's see. Do I have a map? No, I can't actually open a map without being by a portal. So, here's the thing. There's so many things in this game that seem cool, and they could have just been done in a way that I would say is all around better. I think we're getting up to one of those parts. Where you get an ability, and then you never use it. Because it's that bad. Because it's not actually useful, it's not actually good, it doesn't make you any better. And then the last thing you get is the ability to run, which is actually useful and good. And they actually make a little level out of it, and that's cool. I like when they do that. I like when you get an ability, and then you have to use it to get out of where you are. That's how it is with climbing in this game. That's how it is with running in this game. That's not how it is with like any of the other kind of combat-oriented power-ups that you never use. It's like the relics in Shovel Knight, honestly. But at least the relics were cool to collect. And you could use them if you wanted to. It's not like something that I expect, I guess. It's not like you get... And it's half and half, really. Because, again, some of them are damage upgrades. Some of it is useful. Like, again, the running, the being able to climb. That's useful. Because you can actually get into other areas. But there are so many things in this game that, for one, don't work well. You get an ability later where you can deflect bullets, but it doesn't work well. At all. Like, at all, at all. And you can't use it in midair. So, you have to be standing perfectly still, facing a bullet coming at you, because that works. That happens all the time. And of course, for whatever reason, I can stop them in midair. Occasionally it happens. I have no idea how it happens, though. I have no idea how to make that happen. So, it's just... Mm, I get... I, 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 I really get into a point with this game where I, I want to like it. I want to finish it and feel satisfied. But it, it's just not satisfying. Shovel Knight was great. Shovel Knight was expansive. The story wasn't, like, overly... I wasn't expecting much of the story of Shovel Knight, but it was it still delivered. It delivered on a good story, and I liked it. And the gameplay was amazing. And I had a fun time playing the game. I'm not having a fun time with this game. For one, look at this. Look at this right now and think about the enemies that you see on that you would see on screen. They're either the type of enemy that walks right through it, or they're the type of enemy that's so small they don't get hit by it in the first place. That's not cool. That's the two types of enemies in this game, by the way. You don't have knockback on anything that you do. And everything walks at, like, the same speed you do, too. So, there's no running away. There's only hitting, you know. There's nothing else that you can really do. There are a lot of floor traps. And... I don't know. It, it's the kind of game that gets easier, I guess. I hope. I'm gonna keep playing it. I'm gonna keep going, because dear lord, if I end another series again, I did that with Carrion, and I think I might have disappointed people, but what the hell are they gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? I'm really ticked. I also lost my cave story recording, so happy birthday Monday. I don't know if I can even go back in like a save file for that. So that there's an entire boss fight that I did for my cave story episode that went up this Monday. Or I guess it didn't go up this Monday. Anyways, whatever. Whatever. I'm ending the video. Get the heck out of here. I'm literally going to kill you. Goodbye.